Greetings fellow masters and welcome to the channel. I am the Shotgun Shogun and today we are going to be talking about the event that comes with the Jelter Banner. Now I don't know if you were aware but Jelter Banner actually does come with an event. I know it's a shock to some people who have uh, had the blinders on but anyways that event is the Da Vinci and the Seven Counterfeit Heroic Spirits event and why is it so important? This is probably one of the biggest events of the year, followed up by Christmas. Now, why is that? Well, because you need to farm real hard. These, this is an event where you will want to spend every waking moment and every apple that you have to complete it because much like Christmas, this is a loot box event and you have endless loot boxes. Now, before I get into the loot boxes, let's talk a little bit about what you're going to need and how you're going to get them. So some of the things that you are going to need in terms of resources and stuff like that is there's going to be two different types of manuscripts that drop. Now, these are the items that you are going to be turning in for your loot boxes. There's a real manuscript and a fake manuscript. So how do you get these? So unlike other events, you are going to have specific classes that are going to increase your chances to get these items. So for fake manuscripts, we're looking at berserkers, assassins, casters, and riders. Those will all increase your chances, your uh, drops for the fake manuscripts. Now for the real manuscripts, we're looking at Lancers, archers, and sabers. So you're looking at the three knights and the four horsemen will give you rate ups on your fake and real manuscripts. Now, if you run a shielder, ruler, or avenger, you will be getting plus one to both real and fake. So it is very advantageous for you to be running these servants so that you can get rate ups for both because you are going to want to farm these really really hard now outside of servants what else can you get to increase these of course craft essences these are the event craft essences that you are going to need in order to get your manuscripts up so we are looking at three different five stars now you will be getting these from the grand prize out of the loot boxes uh, as well as drops so starting off at the very beginning we have holy maiden leading chaldea this gains you three stars every turn, buster plus 10%, and it gives you plus 100% to real enemies. Now, real enemies are the ones that drop the real manuscripts. Obviously, makes sense. Mass limit breaking this gives you 200% to those. Now, the next one, Empita. This one, when defeated, charges parties NP gauge by 15%. Gives you Buster 10%, increases fake enemies by plus 100%, MLB to 200%. As a card, I don't I don't really like that too much. I, I don't want anybody to die, but I mean, I guess if they're going to die and it gives you 15% NP gauge charge, then I guess that's okay. The next one we've got is School of Chaldea. This one starts your NP gauge off at 30%, healing received by plus 20%. Now, this one increases your fake and real manuscript drop by two and gives you another one on MLB so you'll get three. So this one will be good to stack if you're farming both. The other two will be good to stack if you're if you're looking to farm one or the other. I personally feel like I am going to be going with a strategy of getting both because I want both of these loot boxes. Now Let's also talk about the other craft essences that you will get from the banner for this event and what some of the other items are you're going to need for the item shop. So you're going to need Mona Lisa's self-portraits and the last one is the Vitruvian Man. So those are going to be the three drops. The craft essences from the banner will give you a plus one to each of those. So Gentle Affection will give you plus one to Mona Lisa's. It also increases your heal power by 15%. Talent Snake increases arts by 30% for three turns. It also gives you plus one 
two self portraits mlb is plus two and art of death increases damage against humanoid enemies by 25 percent, which actually isn't too bad it also gives you plus one to vitruvian man drops and plus two if it is mass limit broken now the interesting thing about this is unlike a lot of other banners you don't actually have any five star ce's out of this they're all four stars so while they are good ish for these drops um, i'm not too worried about them and i don't think that you should be either because you will be farming this very very hard or at least you should be so i feel like um, equipping these CEs over the event CEs that give you the manuscripts are going to be doing yourself a disservice. Even if you catch them real early and you clear out the shop, I still feel like these are going to be a waste of your time. With that said, let us go up and let us talk a little bit about the loot boxes. So what I have up first here is I have the fake manuscripts. Now this is one through six and much like Christmas, the first five will give you a five star CE and the sixth one will give you a crystallized lore. Everything past six, so that is seven plus, uh, does not have golden or silver apples and it does not ha give you a grand prize. You finish it, you go on to the next one. Now let's talk about what you're getting in the fake manuscript box. You're getting 19,000 friend points. You're getting 5.4 million QP, two pages, two snake jewels, four void dust, four, um, four evil bones, 25 gold cards, 15 silver cards, a gold apple, two silver apples, and three bronze apples. Now you're getting two of the four horsemen gold monuments, and you're getting four of the silver four horsemen monuments. Now, if you're like me and you need pages for days, as well as XP, this is going to be the box that you are going to want to clear endlessly. Amazing, amazing stuff. Very hard to farm, very annoying. Farming snake jewels is a pain in the butt. I had to farm them real hard for Jalter. And if you're getting Jalter, you're going to need 36 of them. So if you don't have them, this right here, just clearing these six, will get you 12. So with that said, that was the first six and then seven plus. As you can see with the seven plus, you're getting everything minus the silver and gold apples. Now, on to the real manuscripts. This one is going to give you 5.4 million QP. You're getting two horseshoes, two crystals, four hero proof, four dragon's fangs, 30 gold XP cards, 15 silver, 75 mana prisms, one gold apple, two silver apples, three bronze apples, two of each of the three knight statues, four of each of the silver each of the silver ones so and then obviously moving on to seven plus you get rid of the apples now this one is really good horseshoes are terrible to farm uh, you get five more xp and you get 75 mana prisms for those of you who are you know saving up for caldea lunchtime uh for you know just getting ahead this is going to be huge, and you are going to want to farm this one very hard as well. The horseshoes in general are good to pick up. It's it's real tough because you are going to have a hard time going, Whoa, my God, which of these boxes do I want? That's why I am going to try to go with a strategy of let me try to farm both of them as hard as I can and see how that works out. So... With the CEs that you get from both boxes, out of the fake boxes, you will get the Holy Maiden Leading Chaldea. Out of the real ones, you are going to get Ampita. So, with that said, let's get on to the shop. Now, to clear the shop for the Vitruvian Man, you are going to need 3,600 of these drops. Now... This is where you get the School of Chaldea CE that you are going to want to get very right off the bat. So with the Vitruvian Men, man drops, you are going to get the School of Chaldea CE. First things first, I would go for that. Absolutely. 20 Warhorse Horns, 
which uh, if you have farmed these so far, they are a pain in the butt. So you're going to want to pick these up. You're going to get ghost lanterns. You're going to get homunculus babies. You are going to get skill gems for everything. You're going to have some, some stat ups in here. I would suggest at least clearing all of the ascension items and saving the saving the stat ups for the end and if you have it then get it but caldea uh school of caldea should be your absolute first go-to now let's get on to self portraits here you're going to need 3400 of these to clear the shop you're going to get another copy of school of caldea you're going to get 20 black tallows 20 chaos claw uh, talons you're looking at 20 Phoenix Plumes and 20 of the Magic Gems for each class. Now, this one, I would say, again, get your CE, clear your Ascension items. As you get stuff over the uh, over farming things, then you pick up your gems, but do not make those a priority. So we get to the Mona Lisa's. You're going to need 3,900 of these. Uh, you get two copies of School of Chaldea, which means if you want to MLB this, you're going to have to get a drop, much like many of the other events. You got 20 Hearts of the Foreign God, you got 20 of the Spirit Roots, and you've got 20 Bloodstone Tears. Now, this is the one that I think everybody should just go ham on. You're going to be getting Mona Lisa's cl clear this entire shop right here. Uh, clear all of your secret gems. Uh, you've got 500 mana prisms that you can pick up out of here. And then after that, it's unlimited quartz works. As you get the stuff for the further down ones, the self-portraits and the Vitruvian mans, pick those up, but don't make them a priority in this event because really Mona Lisa and your manuscripts are going to be your priority. These are the things that you are going to want to focus on the hardest. So... With that said, that's a little bit of the overview. You're going to have free quests that you're going to want to farm. Main quest is going to be uh, seven chapters. Uh, you're going to get a Holy Grail from this, which is fantastic. So I'm excited to get another Grail that I can just immediately feed to Jalter. There's a, a whole bunch of different free quests that I'm going to do another video on because I do not want this video to go too deep. Uh, so if you're looking for what I think you should farm specifically, what's the most uh, efficient, I will have a second video out on that. That's just a real quick overview of this. You are going to want to spend every single apple that you have. And make sure you take a look at my second video where I go into depth a little bit more about the free quests. Because it's crazy, man. They... Like a lot of, like take Valentine's Day, they had a bunch of different things for each like level. Not this one. You've got beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then you have a plethora of 40 APs. And the awesome thing with that is each one is geared to drop a different thing. So like Berserkers are dropping uh, Talons of Chaos, Casters are dropping Hearts of the Foreign God, uh, but I will go more in depth into that. I just wanted to make this a very quick, hey, this is why it's awesome. This is why you should be rolling for this. So like I said, guys, uh, I will have that other video more in depth where I think you should be farming and how best to use your AP up. So look for that. Um, if this guide was helpful, make sure you drop a thumbs up and hit subscribe on the channel if you haven't already. I do have a giveaway going on down at the bottom, so make sure you hit that link to enter. And as always, guys, I appreciate all of you for checking this out, and let me know how you're feeling about it. Anyways, guys, I will catch you next time. Peace.